السلام عليكم Hello, this is Ashraf Habib from the Yasmin section Ibn Khaldun Schools English World Class 4 Grade 4 Unit 9 Lesson 6 Our lesson today is about writing Now we are going to talk about the objectives for today By the end of this lesson learners are guided to Compose and write information about Chinese paper. Number two, practice writing information and describing a process. Practice writing information and describing a process. Number three, write information about Chinese silk. We are going to start our lesson today by talking about one of the Chinese inventions. The Chinese inventions, huh? What are we going to talk about? Yes, very good. Paper. Vocabulary. Here are some information about the invention of paper by the Chinese. When? Two thousand years ago. How? Different plants. Used for, at first for rubbing, then for writing and drawing. Importance, was most useful for pox. We are going now to answer some questions and taking the answer put them in the paragraph form. The first question, when did the Chinese invent paper? When did the Chinese invent paper? Yes, the Chinese invented paper 2000 years ago. This is the first answer. And it will be the topic sentence, the first sentence in the paragraph. Question number two. How did they make it? How did they make it? The answer is they made it from different plants they made it from different plants question number three what did they use it for what did they use it for at first they used it for rubbing things then for drawing and writing question number four what was it most useful for? What was it most useful for? It was most useful for pox. Okay, let's see how can we write a paragraph in the form of paragraph by having the answer for these questions and put them in the paragraph form. Yes. The Chinese invented paper 2,000 years ago. They made it from different plants. At first, they used it for rubbing things. Then, they used it for drawing and writing. It was most useful for pox. It was most useful for pox. I'd like you now to open your box on page 97. Class composition, exercise number one. Talk about the pictures, write information. Talk about the picture, write information about them. Talk about the picture, write information about them. 
What can you see? Yes. You can see paper money. You can see tea. You can see paper bag. Okay. Who can tell me? How can we finish this short paragraph about the three pictures? Yes, the Chinese invented paper. The Chinese invented paper money. They used paper notes because they were lighter than coins. They were lighter than coins. They used paper bags. They kept tea in them. They kept tea in them. Okay? Let's listen again. The Chinese invented paper money. They used paper notes because they were lighter than coins. They used paper bags. They kept tea in them. Okay, let's move quickly to the next. What can you see in the next picture? Yes, you can see different umbrellas and I can see some people who were uh, drawing birds and plants on them. Write first, then read. They made fans and umbrellas from paper. They painted pictures of trees, flowers and birds on them. They made fans and umbrellas from paper. They painted pictures of trees, flowers and birds on them. Okay, let's move to the next one. Look at this fan. Who can write a sentence on this fan? This fan has a picture of two animals. They are black and white. They are eating leaves. They are eating leaves. Let's move quickly to the last one. What can you see? I can see three umbrellas. What color are they? Huh? Yellow, green, and blue. Okay, let's write a short sentence about them. These pretty umbrellas are yellow, green, and blue. Can we add another sentence? Yes. There are pictures of pink flowers and birds on them. There are pictures of pink flowers and birds on them. I'd like you now to open your workbook on page 88, exercise number 1. This page is about writing preparation. Writing preparation. Exercise number 1. Think about these questions. Think about these questions. Question number 1. Who invented silk? Who invented silk? Number two, what animals did they get the silk from? What animals did they get the silk from? Number three, what did the Chinese call them? What did the Chinese call them? Huh? Who can give me the answer for the first question? My first question is, who invented silk? The answer is the Chinese. The Chinese. Number two. What animals did they get the silk from? What animals did they get the silk from? The answer is caterpillars. 
caterpillars. Question number three. What did the Chinese call them? What did the Chinese call them? The answer is silkworms. Now, write the first paragraph on page 89. Use your answers above. I'd like you now to use the answers in order to write the paragraph on page 89. Let's move quickly to page 89 in order to finish the paragraph using these answers. Let's start. The Chinese invented silk. This is the first sentence. The second. They got the silk from caterpillars. They call the caterpillars silk worms. They call the caterpillars silk worms. Exercise number two. Look at the pictures, read the phrases. Look at the pictures, read the phrases. Number one, eat leaves. Eat leaves. Grow fat. Spin silk. Make cocoons. Pull threads. Take lots of threads. Weave threads. Make clothes. Let's move to the next. Write the past tense of these verbs. Here we have the first form of these verbs. We are going to write the past. Like, number one, eat. The past is ate. I'd like you now to think of the rest. And you'll find the answers in a few minutes. Okay, see the answers, write them down in your workbook. Exercise number three. Color the last two pictures on page 89. Think about the questions. Question number one. What did the Chinese make from self? What did the Chinese make from self? Number two, what color is the dress? What color is the dress? Number three, what is on the dress? What is on the dress? Number four, what does the painting show? What does the painting show? Question number five, what is he wearing? What is he wearing? Question number six, what is he holding? What is he holding? The last question, how does he look? Try to put the answers in the form of paragraph on page 89. Now, write the third and fourth paragraphs on page 89. Use your answers above. 